Hot Love with Pat's Two Cents. There's a song that I'm going to be singing Friday night. I'm not singing it now. I'm just talking. But there's a verse in it that is just so pertinent. <sighs> when my eyes fail to see, he is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, he is able. If he chooses not to move in the way we prayed he would, I'm confident. He's working all together for my good. And I will stand on his word, for he is able. Listen, when it was time for my husband to go, now sometimes people get angry when a, a, a person dies. How could God take my child? How could God take my husband? How could God, okay, yeah, I get you on that. But remember this, sometimes it is within God's divine purpose and scheme of things because Jesus himself said unless a seed fall to the ground and die it can bear no fruit a living seed cannot bear fruit listen there are things there are blessings there are um, uh, acts of, of, of destiny that take place as a result of a person's death. There are times when it is that person's time. God told me, he showed me it was my husband's time. And as a result, when we heard what the doctor had to say, what the surgeon had to say, my husband and I both realized it was his time. That was the only time in all the years we dated and we were married that he never once asked me during that last 33 days of his life. My husband never once asked me to pray for his healing. That was a first. That confirmed even more so that Milton even knew in his soul of souls that it was his time. Now, for some of you who feel like it should never be somebody's time, you have a hard time letting go, some things cannot come to you until a death occurs. Listen to this. You and I could never have been filled with the Holy Spirit permanently without the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But remember, he had to die. Now, we went over that before in the other video. There are times when someone has to die and you think, oh, it wasn't their time. But what you don't know is when you listen to some people's testimony of going to heaven and coming back, near-death experiences, there are times when God gives that person a choice and says, do you want to go back or do you want to stay? And the person chooses to go back. But had that person chosen to stay, it would have been hard on the people because that person may have been a child, a teenager, or a young adult. And that parent would have been thinking, oh, that's my baby. They had their whole life ahead of them. Yeah, work, bills, and pay, and a whole lot of problems, too. But for them to graduate ahead of their class and get to heaven? Now, if they choose to come back, that's one thing. And I've heard there was one person that chose to come back, not because they wanted to, but because they could see the heartbreak on their mother. And they just couldn't hurt her that way. And they knew she needed help and they wanted to be there for her. Even though if it hadn't been for mama's situation, they would have opted to stay in heaven. So, and they would have had the choice. There are some God doesn't give the choice because it's in his purpose to bring them home when he does. And the way he allows it to happen. You have to really trust God there's a song that says, all things work for our good. Though sometimes we can't see how they could. 
struggles that break our hearts in two, sometimes blind us to the truth. But our Father knows what's best for us, and His ways are not our own. So when your pathway grows dim, and you just can't see Him, remember, you're never alone. God is too wise to be mistaken. God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand and you can't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. He alone is faithful and true. He alone knows what is best for you. Okay, I'm done. But I just want you to to be encouraged. Allow God's wisdom. Allow for it. Remember, his ways are above our ways and his thoughts above our thoughts. There's no way we can fathom what he's doing. We have to trust him. Who else are you going to run to? Think about that. God bless you and please be encouraged. Read God's word. Talk to him. Ask him to lead you to scripture that helps you hang on. Even if your faith is hanging on by a thread, God can turn that thread into a rope so it won't snap on you. But ask God to lead you to scripture, lead you to the word, and talk to your heart, your spirit, your soul, to let you know he's right there. He's well able. And he's, he's on top of everything. Nothing is out of his control. Nothing is out of his reach. You hear me? Trust him now. Trust everything in his hands. God bless you.